The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. My favorite Pokemon has been easily soloed. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. Seven star Sceptile is here, and as a certified Sceptile enjoyer, I'm living life large. As you may or may not know, Sceptile is my favorite Pokemon. I am so thrilled to finally have a chance to easily solo my favorite Pokemon. Before we get into this building strategy, which is a ton of fun, I want to say a quick thank you to the Danimal, Black Red Pill, and all the other Danimals on the night one stream who helped me workshop this Don Dozo or Dan Dozo build. <laughs> a big thank you to my brother-in-law Scott for making this wood carving for me. Now let's get right into this build. Here is the star of today's video and one of the unlikely stars of the seven star Sceptile Terror Raids. Dan Dozo, the Don Dozo. But I know what you're thinking. Sun Dan, why would you use a water type Pokemon against Sceptile? It has Leaf Blade and Thunder Punch. Yes, that those are super effective until we become Terra Fairy. Why Don Dozo? Because it has the ability, unaware, and exceptional physical bulk and solid physical attack. The ability unaware allows us to ignore the effects of Sceptile spamming Dragon Dance. It causes the opposing Pokemon stats to be ignored when calculating the damage that it's either dealing to Don Dozo or that Don Dozo deals to it. On the turn in which our ability is nullified, make sure to use Protect so you don't take big damage without Unaware. Fairy Terra Terra Blast is how this build deals damage. Curse powers up Terra Blast and also gives Don Dozo additional physical bulk as you'll see shortly. Because of Unaware, we don't gain the benefits of lowering Sceptile's stats with something like Chilling Water, so instead we can use Body Slam for the chance to paralyze it and cause it to miss some turns attacking. Again, the full build and full strategy is in the description of this video, but let's see this big ol' fish in action. And, okay, Leaf Storm! How much damage? Okay, perfect. You need the Leaf Storm to not hit you. You're probably not going to have a good time if you get Leaf Storm, so that adds an RNG element to this build. But if you're using this build, that means you either don't have a Clefable or the Clefable isn't working for you. But again, uh, definitely check out the Clefable. I'll post a short of that and a ton of other folks have covered it. But we have two goals when it comes to these event terror raids. Number one is help as many people as possible get to win in these raids, which Dan Dozo does because easily solo, you saw the title. And number two, beat the terror raid Pokemon with as many different Pokemon as possible. Variety is the spice of life. So yes. Not clickbait, the water Pokemon eats the grass Pokemon. One of the reasons is right there, that body slam that we used to charge our Terra Orb has a 30% chance to paralyze. So that is going to help us out a fair bit. The, the goal is to body slam three times as ASAP as possible. That way we can terrestrialize and not take super effective damage from Leaf Blade or Thunder Punch, but we're, we're scared of Leaf Blade because of stab. Oh, good gracious. We've witnessed. I do have some bad news. There has been another murder in Savannah. All right, let me get my boy up here and let's terrestrialize and swing with a Terra Blast for a touch of damage. Then we're waiting for our stats to be nullified. Oh no. If our stats are nullified on this time, that's a little unfortunate because we want to use protect when our stats are nullified. That way we protect our unaware. Huh. It's interesting that it, it nullified us after we already moved. Okay. So in the events of it nullifying the stats and abilities on your side of the field, you have to use protect. That was weird, but okay. So on the turn you have no ability. Let's see if we have no ability now. I don't know. I'm just, I am doing what I do best. I'm yapping. If you watch the stream, this is no surprise to you. All right, breaking swipes, everyone, very nice. Lowering all of our attacks, it's it's good. And I'm glad that my favorite Pokemon is getting the justice it deserves. I already showed this earlier in the video, I know, but look, it's, look at it with the green screen. It looks pretty cool, okay. Is our ability nullified? No, okay, so in the event, what is gonna happen is Usually, it doesn't nullify mid-attack, so when your ability is nullified, you're going to use Protect. That's the bottom move that I'm covering up. So in this case, it was paralyzed and it nullified at a weird time. Not the best for the video, but you get the gist. When it nullifies your abilities and it says that you nullifies your stats and abilities, use Protect. Pretty standard. You're probably going to do the same thing with Clefable. It's a pretty standard play out of the Unaware Pokemon playbook. 
because the whole key to this build is unaware. It ignores, like we talked about, all the, the stat boost of Sceptile. And so, if our ignoring is ignored, that's bad for business. Okay, so let me narrate what we're doing. Forgive me. I'm getting off track. So after our stats are nullified, we want to use Curse until we're down into the yellow territory. So we'll go Curse until we're down into yellow. So if we get crit, we get down to yellow, we'll heal cheer back up into green. While we're in green, we want to Curse all the way up to plus six attack and defense. Again, the full strategy and the full build are in the description. So I'm at three curses. We're gonna keep on going. If we get crit or we get hit a little lower, we we will use a heal cheer. I mean, you could at this point, now that we're actually plus four, you could probably just terror blast and shell build it back if you don't want to go the heal cheer. Either way. So let's see. I'm at I'm at four. I'm gonna go all the way up to six. That way it will get a pretty uh, quick clear. The nice part about this is uh, it is definitely I think it's a bit faster than. Clefairy. In my experience on the night one stream, I won when I was at very, very low time left. We can do a significant amount more damage here. Also, we have the bulk just lined up with us. Because Curse gives us the, the physical bulk and it lets us do damage. So, I mean, Clefable obviously makes more sense and you're not scared of the Leaf Storm turn one. But there is an argument that Dandozo is the better unaware Pokemon. You could always use the Gator, but all right. And we're not getting crit, thank you. Except I was playing along. Let's see how much damage this does. We should be within maybe like six away. Let's see. Okay, that, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. It's only gonna get better once we get that shield down. It should be like four more to get the shield. So at this point, let's take a look. You see, attack, speed plus six. It doesn't matter because we are unaware. But, Unaware does like our attack and defense being plus six. But our defense is plus six, not our attack, because of the breaking swipes. Okay, 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 you know what? I'm gonna go all the way up to plus six. I'm glad I checked, I'm glad I checked. The breaking swipes before we terrestrialize, that, that'll do it, that'll do it. So I'm gonna maximize that because every curse that's plus 50% damage, it'll double the damage. So I, I, I honestly expected a bigger hit from Dan Dozo based on the testing. That makes sense. So now Dan Dozo is at full power after eight curses. We're on track to finish nice on time. Let me know in the comments what Pokemon you are using to solo seven star Sceptile. Is it Clefable or is it Dan Dozo? If it, with that damage, you might be leading Dan Dozo. You might be leading Dan Dozo. That's nice. It's nice. Well, even without the sushi. Even without the sushi. You could mix in the attack sheet. That is a good point from the chat while it's live. And shout out to all the members who were on the night one terror raid stream. It's not about you, but these terror raids, these terror raids are getting stale, but I love them as a reason for the Daniel came to my community. You watching it right now, that we come together and just enjoy. We enjoy together. And it's a reason for us to fire up the game Hop in a stream, hang out. So, at the very least, I love these terror raids for bringing us together. But let's pop that shield. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, not popped? Come on. Come on, show us the pop. Show us the pop. I'm still waiting on that seven star cord on a Mirrodon, though. Still waiting. I'm not, I'm not gonna give up hope on it. Please. Please pop. All right, fine. Well. I was hoping that way it would it would uh, we do a little more damage on this one, but as you see, finishing with a couple turns to spare, and we even did it a uh, little non-optimally because we should have got up to plus six before attacking. But it's all good. It's all good. You could mix in the attacks you're needed. I I don't think there's a way to optimize the damage further, but all right, there is the pop. Zeptile does have a very large shield, respectfully, as they should. For, that's my favorite Pokemon. I'm not sure if I quite mentioned it or if you heard. But Sceptile is my favorite Pokemon. It's a great story. It's a great story. I was pretty sick as a kid, and it got me through some hard times, Pokemon Emerald. But that, the sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. My favorite Pokemon has been easily soloed. 
by a fish. And it's alive. Okay. 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 We need to just blow on it. Just blow on it. it okay. That's fine. It'll still sound good in the cold open. But now when you're watching here, you'll be like, wait, that didn't actually knock it out. Yes, you're right. Oh, wow! Thumbnail face. We just easily soloed Seven Star Sceptile. But now comes the ever important question. What Pokeball are you using to catch Seven Star Sceptile and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Look at that toss. Easily soloed with Dandozo, the fish. And Sceptile does drop Urban Mystica, so make sure to stock up for your shiny hunting. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Leap Blade on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching, and happy Sceptile season!